half of your life, you know, actually more than half of your life, three quarter of your life is in the kitchen. Yeah. And one quarter is at home. That's pretty much your second home, right? Yeah. yeah. Hey everyone, Aaron here. Thanks again for joining me in another episode of The Office Chef. Now, I used to be an ex-hotel chef for the past 14 years, and now I'm a full-time food content writer for ChefLui.com. So, in today's episode, we'll be comparing chefs once again. Now, I have with me, Polo. So, Polo used to be my ex-colleague. How long ago? 15 years? 15 years, probably. 15 years ago. And now, he's the owner and head chef of Estuary. So, Estuary is actually more of the uh, pescatarian cuisine, and whereby we don't really focus much on the cuisine that we are doing, but it's just pescatarian, seafood and vegetable. And uh, one unique starting point uh, for Estuary is actually whereby we're doing aged fish. And what we are going to better today is more of the fishes, of course. So today we'll be using sea bass or barramundi and we'll see whether an ex-hotel chef or a restaurant chef can make something that our colleagues will like better. So today I'll be doing a sea bass roll with seafood carrot mousse, mango salsa and dill cream sauce. Alright, so today I will be making the fish chukone. Chukone means uh, chicken meatball. But my version was actually doing the fish meatball. So for the sea bass roll, I'll be trimming the fish um, and then taking the excess for my mousse later. Then I'll be seasoning my sea bass with just basic salt and pepper. Then next, I will proceed to prepare the seafood mousse. So I've already boiled the carrot in the water, so I will just take it out, strain it out. Then I will blend together with the trimming of the fish and add some squid inside. I'm going to add some seasoning, salt and pepper. Then I'm just going to add um, one egg white to it. Add in my blended carrots. Then I'm going to blend everything up. Okay, when I was halfway blended, I'll add in some cream to it. Make it more smooth. Then I will lay out the fish and put the filling in the middle and start to roll with a cling film and put in the oven to steam for about 15 to 20 minutes. Then after that, I'll be preparing my mango salsa, which is consists of red onion, coriander, peanut, garlic, mango, and tomato, uh, chili padi, and I will mix with a sugar vinegar solution and let it rest and marinate. Lastly, I'll prepare the dill cream sauce which is just, I'll saute some red onions then I'll add in the cream. So once the cream has been flavoured with the red onion, I'll strain the onion out. Currently, I'll prepare a roux to thicken the cream sauce. Then I'll throw in the chopped dill. So lastly, when the fish roll is done in the oven, I'll take it out. Then I'll cut it with the plastic on and I'll remove the cling film. Then I'll lay out on the plate, pour the dill cream sauce over, and lastly finish off with the mango salsa. This is a five star standard, Aaron. To process the chocone, where I need lots of the uh, fish meat, I think the barramundi is actually nicely done in a cube size and identical to get the crunch and combine of the raw egg as well as the, uh, the spices to get the flavour and the texture. That's it for all my steps. All I have to do now is actually being patient to just rest the patty a bit before I form the meat more. All you have to prepare for chukone skewer body individual so then it's easier for me to get into the skewer then once it's formed a patty I'm going to pencil to get the caramelization right now it will be a two different presentation one with the big patty which I have tare sauce it's going to be on top raw egg yolk as to get the creaminess and sprinkle a little bit of the show combo to get the umami flavour. That's it, that's my dish. So as usual for the tasting, we will get our colleagues to taste. <laughs> Lol. Okay. So today our team is sea bass with a little squid. A little squid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh, well done. Okay, Anderson, what's your thoughts? I heard mmm only. There's so many things. Mm. I like that it doesn't have the intense fishy, yeah. the smell is not there. I don't like the texture of the skin. I like the little spicy cake also. When mm -hmm. there's nuts, mm. and then there's like the shallot sea, and then there's like the herbaceous. <laughs> there's like the tomato sauce. The tomato sauce, and, and then the... like there's the sauces. How the meal is everything. Ooh. 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 Yum. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. 
guys. Right. Ooh. Lukewarm. Lukewarm. <laughs> okay. This dish is very versatile. If you put it there, right, it can be appetizer, appetizer, side dish, mm. beer pie. Mm. But this one can be a meal by itself. Its name is Diverse Hamburg. Okay, thoughts? I like that it's tender. There's no like very strong taste. I don't like strong taste. So mm. I find that this one is more hearty. Mm. This heavier. This, this is one is more like ooh. This one is more like ooh. Ooh, got different one. Ooh and ooh. <laughs> I will go with the ooh, so I prefer this one. More depth, depth. Oh, that is true. I would say diverse hamburger. Ooh, ooh. one one. Uh. Mm. Mm. It's probably one two three. Huh? For me, it'll be one two three. You know, like you can't count the skin. Okay, okay. I like it. It's refreshing. Mm. That's it for today's challenge. I looks like Polo one three one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah yeah, I lost again, but never mind. I will back up for next challenge and hopefully I'll be the winner next challenge. So please remember to like, comment and subscribe. We'll see you in the next season finale. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.